In this lecture, we will learn how to create cross tables with the cross table function in the package gmodels. We are going to use the same data frame, demo, and we are going to create uh, a cross table with the variables gender and car category, economy, standard, standard and luxury. Okay, first of all, we have to load the package gmodels and now we use the function cross table here in this function we have to specify the two variables gender and car category in our case and here i i will also set uh, the option prop chi square to false because i don't want to compute the chi square contributions so this will build a cross table with the variables gender and car category as I want. Let's run this. OK. In this table we have the following information in these uh, four uh, rows. <coughs> First of all the counts. For example here uh, 67 female subjects have uh, economy cars. Here on the second row we can find uh, the row proportions. So for example here about 26% of the female subjects have economy cars. And here on this um, row the table presents the column proportions. For example here about 45% of the uh, of the economy cars are owned by female subjects. And here in the last row we have the proportion from the total. So here about 13% uh, of the total number of subjects uh, are female that own economy cars. Okay, now let's see some other options of the function cross table. You have them all here. Uh, so the function digit sets the number of decimals uh, for the numbers. Uh, the function expect, the option expected, if it's true, it shows the expected frequencies. The functions prop R and prop C, if they are true, they show the row proportion and the column proportions respectively. The option uh, prop chi-square shows the chi-square contributions, if it's true. The option chi-square compute the chi-square test for association. Uh, the option Fisher compute the Fisher exit test, if it's true. The option McNamara compute the McNamara test only for the two by two tables. And uh, the option missing include, if it's true, remove the unused factor levels. Finally, let's build a table that will show only the observed counts, so a simple table. To that effect, as you can notice here, I, I, have, I have set, sorry, I have set uh, the following uh, options to false. Prop R, the row proportions, Prop C, uh, the, um, the column proportions and prop T, the, the proportions from the total. Let's run all this, select and control enter. So here the table, as you can see, here we have only the, the observed counts. That's all, thank you.